Andrea and George Zanfirescu immigrated to Canada in 2001. Their life passion, the German Shepherd dog, followed them to their new country. The responsible dog breeding is both art and science, and their recipe to success in their work with the dogs is to be 100% committed to study, research and work hard to select, raise, train and constantly improve the quality. The Amelaberg dogs are on a high quality diet that keeps them healthy and fit. Their goal is to achieve the best conformation and temperament to reduce and eliminate as much as possible the breed's genetically transmitted problems and to produce healthy and best quality pure bred dogs using some of the best bloodlines in the world. O zi obișnuită în camisa noastră începe relativ de vreme. Primul lucru ieșit la câini. Avem o clădire special destinată câinilor cu țarcuri individuale. Deci primul lucru, câinii trebuie scoși în zona special destinată. Avem un țarc mare unde câinii interacționează. După aceea câinii sunt hrăniți. Urmează antrenament specific. Depinde de de câinii, la momentul respectiv, ce pregătim, ce vârste au, dacă avem vreun concurs important în apropiere și așa mai departe. De asemenea, petrec mult timp afară câinii noștri în natură, avem țarcuri special destinate acestui scop. Multe, multe din aceste activități sunt, să spunem, mers cu bicicleta, alergatul, pregătirea pentru expoziție, de asemenea, particip la, în mod periodic la un club de dresaj special, un club de șuțund numit Niagara Hundesport, unde, se, unde are loc antrenament specific pentru examenul de lucru șuțund. Acest, acest sport foarte solicitant este reprezentat din trei ramuri importante, disciplină, urmă și atac. Deci câinii noștri trebuie antrenați în toate aceste trei discipline. This is Karen Clarkson, uh, a close friend of mine and a great trainer. And this is uh, Allegra von Amalaberg, uh, uh, a dog from our kennel and um, a female of four years of age right now that uh, Karen uh, is training with and they will demonstrate um, agility routine later on. The place you're at right now is Pet Degree. We do um, uh, Paris, Ontario. We do boarding and training and um, some agility training, rally O. We have a wide variety. We do water therapy for the dogs. George came to work with, well, he came to socialize some of his dogs at first and then he came, I liked how he handled the dogs, so he came to work with me for about six years. <laughs> and um, we've just stayed friends. He's spectacular, <laughs> excellent. He's a great trainer. George has a gift with dogs and you either have it or you don't and he has it. Um, the, dogs, the dogs can really read um, the energy and the presence that comes from the person. So um, he, he really has that gift and um, that's what makes him a great trainer. We are given a course map, um, the, on the course it's numbered, so we have to follow the numbers. We're allowed to go out and walk the course and practice the course, but without the dogs. 
once um, we've practiced the course for about five minutes walking it and knowing how we're going to turn and um, which way we're going to go on the course, then um, what happens is the we bring the dog out and run the course with the dog. So the dog has never experienced the course, we have to handle the dog. And that basically explains it, but there's a lot of obstacles the dog has to learn to get to that. So it is used in contests. The most difficult part would be Every dog is, is different. Some dogs get the weave poles right away. For some dogs, the weave poles are the hardest. For some, the dog walk. For some, the teeter. So it all depends on, on the dog and how you, um, how you teach it from the first, right from the get-go. Allegra took approximately, um, I would say, six, to, uh, six months to a year to learn all the steps. Her results are coming along well. Uh, we've just started competing with her. So um, with um, every competition, it gets better. The Amalabarak dogs have both beauty and balanced temperament. They have the skills required to be suitable for any type of work. And this also makes them easy to train, stable and reliable family companions. Approximately seven years ago, I was uh, walking my golden retriever uh, through the park and uh, in doing so I came across a man who had a beautiful German Shepherd. So my, my curiosity led me to him and I asked him where he purchased his dog and he told me it was from a, a kennel uh, that was southwest of myself. So in, uh, in, in being further interested in finding out more about the kennel that this beautiful dog came from, I, I googled uh, the kennel name and uh, did my my research and uh, contacted George and his wife Andrea and uh, in meeting them and uh, it was a very positive experience. Um, I felt very comfortable and learned a lot uh, more about the breed than I already knew and I knew that uh, they were the, the breeders for me and that uh, uh, a dog that they understood my wants uh, in terms of a dog and uh, they um, shortly after our first meeting uh, were able to fulfill that uh, with my first uh, Amala Burke puppy. The experience gained in over 25 years involved with the breed rewards now the hard work and dedication. Aspen von Amalaberg uh, has been with me since he was about eight weeks old. Uh, he is uh, really, um, I feel fortunate and, and, and blessed to have him in my life. Um, having met Andrea and George, um, I, be, I, I really wanted to um, go to, to, to different heights uh, in terms of the show world and uh, I, I became quite competitive um, in wanting a dog that, uh, that embodied everything um, that a German Shepherd uh, has to offer. Uh, we've traveled uh, f across Canada um, to many shows and uh, uh, being handled uh, by George, he, uh, he has done extremely well um, and has placed uh, or come in first place 10 times. So I'm very happy uh, with the results. And uh, of course, um, his results are part of you know, a good breeding. Uh, he is a, a wonderful dog that, um, that fits well uh, into my family life. Um, he's very good natured and uh, definitely gets a lot of attention uh, when out on the street. Um, and I'm happy to have him. Hi guys, how are you? Good. Again. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, you know the routine, and we go to uh, to the training place. I'll be right with you. Hi, Edita. How are you? 
Nice to see you again. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> Well, let's start please with, um, um, with the obedience part. Uh, dogs on the left hand side, very good everyone. Let's try to get the attention please. Ask for look at me and reward the dog every 20-30 seconds, sometimes sooner if you have to. Michael, make sure he's sitting, please. Good, very good. Okay, so let's try to maintain that attention. Very good, everyone. Yes. Make sure they, mant they maintain the attention after you reward them, Ian. Yeah, perfect. So you want to make sure he's still looking at you. Maintain that attention until we are going to release them. So everybody get ready. Make sure they are still looking at you. And then say free. Take a short break. Their pleasant and happy disposition, nice. energy and natural pleasure to work makes them suitable for any environment from just simple and affectionate family companions to highly trained sport and service dogs. We'll be trying to create a little drive right now. Remember that so-called game when the dog is actually chasing the food, you are getting their attention and all of a sudden you are going to ask the dog to sit. Okay, so we are using all that energy and drive created to to create a, a better, faster seat, okay? And we're gonna reward the dog for that. Wait 30 seconds, or no, not 30 seconds, uh, quicker, three, four seconds, and then start again, and this time ask for a down, and then three seconds, again break, ask for a seat, and so on. So, um, Edita, why don't you demonstrate that, please, for just to remind. So remember, let, them, let him chase the food, and then ask for a seat, ask for a down, and so on. Here you go, and sit. Very good, click or reward, say yes, yes and treat, yes. Wait for three seconds and break. So everybody, I think remember that. If they are not quite correct the first time, guys, don't reward right away, okay? So make sure they are correct before you give them the food. Very good. Now from the same, the same movement, uh, I want you to do sit and down a few times in a row without moving anymore. So. First, do an in initial circling around, and then once you ask for sit, reward the dog, wait three seconds, down, reward the dog, and then back into sit, back into down. I want this three, four times in a row without you moving anymore. You can release the dog, take a break. Very nice. <laughs> Okay, when it's, when it's a break time, you guys can let them sniff around. You can let them relax for a second. We were looking for a dog. We researched for a year and we went to many kennels across Ontario. We drove four or five hours to see their dogs and um, he was the best one. We came in, we met Freya, the mother and the father wind and uh, we fell in love. They were absolutely fantastic. Uh, to be very honest, he saved my dog's life because if I hadn't met George and George hadn't assessed the situation, I think um, my dog would have been violent. Uh, he was very aggressive towards humans. He was very aggressive towards other dogs. In fact, when I met him to meet George for the first assessment, um, he tried to bite George. So in talking to George, he said, I think it's you as a trainer who maybe needs some help. Uh, and I don't think it's too late for your dog. Um, and he suggested that I board Wiley with him for two weeks. Okay, so I was a little scared to leave my puppy with him for two weeks, but when I came back after two weeks, my dog, as you probably saw here today, is friendly with other dogs. He's very obedient. He knew all the commands. There was no more aggression, no more emotional problems where he was aggressive toward people and he would go down like that. He would heal like that. It was a miracle. As I say, if I had not met George, I don't know if we'd still have our puppy. I think he, he knows his dogs. He knows the German Shepherds, very confident with it. I've, I've trained Max other places in Hamilton, but he's always had a few issues with other dogs, but George has definitely helped me solve those issues, and he's quite a good family dog. So I feel confident that he knows what he's doing, and he knows his dogs. Today I'm here to uh, pick up uh, a dog named Solo, and uh, I was asked by my wife, oh, we had our, our dog, he died about uh, six months ago, of old age 
and, um, and my wife wanted a, a good companion, a dog that you know we could have on the property that would give us a, a lot of pleasure. And so I was mandated with the, the task of finding uh, a good dog uh, for our home. And so after uh, a lot of research on the internet, uh, I came across uh, George. And, um, and so after talking to him on, on, on the telephone, well, quite a few times, uh, I got a very, very good feeling about uh, where the dog would be coming from. And, uh, and he introduced me on the, on the internet to, uh, to Solo and we all fell in love with him. I had looked at a couple of kennels, uh, not necessarily uh, physically gone to see them, but it was really only in talking with George that I had the really right feeling that uh, I had to come down here to, because uh, we're at least, uh, I'm gonna say from where I live, uh, a good six or seven hours drive away. And, um, but I really had a, a great feeling when I just looked at the dog, it just a good sense that uh, we were going in the right direction. The first lesson that I teach my dogs is to value the food. And uh, uh, we are playing, we are having fun, but he has to give me something in order to get a reward. So this is a valuable lesson, lesson that they need to learn. A little faster, very good, very nice. He's paying attention, good. Whenever you turn, repeat the command, very nice. Click and treat, perfect. Okay, another important part is to make sure he's maintaining that sit position, okay? okay. I know, too many cameras. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you be a good boy and listen. Okay, you are in good hands. Okay, let's go back to the car. Okay. And then you're gonna go in the front. Okay, you'll be good. I'm gonna miss you, but I know you're in good hands. Well, thank you very, very <laughs> much, so George. Much. Excellent. I really appreciate everything. Uh, I love the dog. He's just beautiful. Sounds just good. beautiful. <laughs> The relationships that develop with the puppies' owners will very often turn into lifelong friendships and we feel so accomplished in our work to see our beautiful German Shepherds living wonderful and happy lives and bringing so much joy to their families.